what's going on guys good morning it's currently 4 30 a.m and um we're about to do a hemi single man i'm tired but the show must go on i got this video for y'all i know it's one of the, the top requested ones that i've gotten so uh here we go and um yeah i'm gonna get this workout in raw dog because um no pre-workout and um yeah <laughs> you know i don't understand lately um i've been feeling super weak this is like day two of it where it's like i feel ridiculously weak and so um yeah we're still getting it in yesterday was chest day chest and biceps and i felt the same way today's hammies and glutes uh, at least there's no really big compound movement so it should be fine um the only one i think it's uh hip thrust and that's pretty much it so um yeah let's get this workout in i'll see y'all inside So the first exercise we're going to start with are calf races. I started to incorporate these first. Uh, that way I get it out the way and I don't have to deal with it at the end when I'm tired. So we're going to make sure that we're stretching all the way down. And then as we move up, we're contracting as much as we can. With every movement that you do in any exercise, you want to make sure that you take your time and squeeze the muscle. That way we can get the most out of the exercise and just kill it, man. Up next, what we got is something that I just started incorporating and that is working on my adductors. That's one of my weakest muscles and I have to start working them out. So here we go. Again, with every movement, be slow with your reps. Make sure that you're contracting that muscle as much as you can. One tip that I always give my clients and I can give to anybody. Whenever you work out a certain muscle, make sure that you think about that muscle and you squeeze the hell out of it. That way you can maximize the gains that you get out of it. It don't matter about how many reps you can do or how fast you can do them. It's about how much you can rip that muscle apart and tire it out. And when you get to that point where you're tired and you can't push anymore or you think you can't push anymore, go ahead and push more. I know you can. You know you can. You just got to push past that mental barrier. And that's something that I can't stop encouraging enough. Please, please, please push past your mental barriers. You're not here to have fun. You're here to go through it. So, yeah. 
All right, y'all, so up next we got RDLs, and here we're starting our main course, working on the hamstrings first. So with this one, what you wanna do is you wanna push that hip as far back as you can with a slight bent on your knees. And again, you also wanna keep that back straight so that you don't injure it at all. A common mistake that I see with this exercise is that a lot of people like to go all the way down. If you have the flexibility, that's cool. But if you don't, just go as far down as your hamstrings will let you. When you feel that first pull on the hamstring, that's when you want to come up. That way, you avoid injuring yourself and you can keep going and making gains. Up next, we got the prone leg curl. Recently, this has become one of my favorite exercises for hamstrings. But a common mistake that I see a lot of the times is when we pull, one, we don't go slow and we don't contract the hamstring as we should, and two, we let the hip come up just to get the weight up. Listen, if you can't do heavy weights, you don't need to. So lower that weight, drop the ego, and make sure you squeeze the hell out of the hamstring. Again, the focus is the hamstring. Don't worry about anything else. Make sure that your reps are slow and controlled and that you're squeezing the hell, the, the hell of the hamstring. I can't repeat myself enough i promise you you will make the most gains when you really tire out that muscle and you squeeze the hell out of it so for this one specifically keep that hip down squeeze your hamstrings and keep a low tempo again for all of these exercises just want to put that out there i'm doing six to eight reps um and this this is for a hypertrophy phase now that we're done with the compound movements i like to move into the single leg stuff i like to isolate the muscle and really get the most out of each hamstring so for this one specifically, I want to make sure that I squeeze the hell out of each hamstring and that I'm going slow and controlled. Again, six to eight reps, and I'm controlling that weight the whole time. When I go down in the concentric portion, I'm squeezing the hell out of that muscle. And then in the eccentric, I'm really making sure that I'm ripping those muscle fibers and that I'm controlling that weight. No bouncing, no fast movements. Forget about getting 12 reps. Focus on failure and squeezing that muscle. And that's pretty much it for hamstrings. I only do three exercises where my priority is to break down that muscle as much as I can. Up next, we got glutes. And this is an exercise that all women do, but also I believe all guys should do as well. And that is the hip thrust. Form wise for this exercise, you wanna make sure that your feet are shoulder width apart and that they are straight. You also wanna keep your knees out and there's two ways that you can go about thrusting. The first way is when you thrust just bending from the sternum down, uh, your head is going to keep looking straight. Now the second form is when you keep your torso as one piece. So when you thrust, your face is going to be looking up at the ceiling and when you come down, your face is going to be looking straight ahead. Again guys, I'm sorry that I didn't complete this workout for you guys. There was one more exercise that I was going to do in this routine and that is cable abductions which I will make up for it and explain to you because that is one of my favorite glute exercises. Uh, but at this point, I was going through it. I gave up on myself and my back was hurting a lot so I called it and then I just went for my 15 minute incline walk. So that's pretty much it for the workout. What's going on y'all? So it's like 9 o'clock. And um, as you already saw, I kind of had a little bit of a breakdown in a way. It's just, just a bad moment. So I'm just gonna turn this into a rant and kind of give you all what the rundown of what has been happening, what I've been going through. Um, so what y'all just saw is me trying to give you guys a hammies and glute workout. And um, it didn't go as I planned. I actually pulled my right erector spinae and, um, or at least a muzzle spasm. I massaged it all day today and it felt better. So hopefully it doesn't act up again. Um, but I've recently been feeling really weak and I don't know what's been going on. Um, I've been messing with my nutrition. I've been trying to get a lot more sleep and it just, it's not adding up because right now I just feel the worst that I've ever felt ever. I've never quit in a workout and I had to quit today. Um, that was, I mean, I, I pushed through the uh, hamstring exercises, but when I got to glutes and the the, the uh, hip thrusts, the ones that you just saw, um, I, I just couldn't. I usually do 20 reps of the first set, 15, 15, 15. I could only do 15, 12, 12, 
and couldn't do another one. And they were just bad form. Um, it seemed like I was just pushing through them just to get them in, um, which is not something I recommend. I mean, if you feel that you are not there completely or you don't feel like you um, have the energy or don't feel right, I recommend you stop and um, I'm have I'm glad that I stopped because after that after I cooled down my erector spinet hurt pretty badly and um, everything I did either moving side to side or picking up things that hurt um, and eventually I massaged it and it went away thank god it wasn't nothing serious but yeah um, the, the, th the first thought that came to mind though was the um, thought of man i'm not gonna be able to work out and let me explain to y'all what i felt during that moment um if you guys know me um and if you don't i'll let you know right now but um fitness means everything to me like i couldn't see myself not work out so for me not to be to not be able to work out really sucks or to not have a good workout and that's really what um a lot of times I base work, my workouts on how the rest of my day is gonna go. So if my workout isn't good, then my rest of the day is, in, is pretty much gonna be bad as well. Um, so when I couldn't lift and when I couldn't complete my workout, that just bummed me out super bad. Um, my mind really goes, uh, right away goes to, well, you're gonna jump off track um, and you're not gonna really reach the goal. This is week seven out of the eight week program. And um, it kind of sucks, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I don't feel my best. I, right now I do feel tired and I'm, I'm gonna try to work out tomorrow again um, and just give it my all. Uh, I'm gonna try and go with a positive attitude. I got some um, new things today just to power me through um, this week. There's something that I've been doing with the creatine, which is just cycling off a bit one week on, or one week off, two weeks on. And this week is off the creatine, but my pre-workout has creatine, so I'm not using any pre-workout, so I went and got some. Um, so hopefully that helps me a little bit get my energy back. But guys, when I tell you that I get off my bed and I have to sit down and like, just sit there and like think and not move for at least like three or four minutes uh, that's never happened to me um, the fact that that's happening is it's kind of crazy to me um, and uh, yeah so um, I'm trying to listen to my body but I'm still gonna push it in a way I'm just gonna go a little bit slower uh, lower the weights a little bit and um, try to finish off the week uh, so that next week, hopefully I could just do a deload week and just really focus on rehabilitating my body, my knee. I've been pushing it and uh, I should really just focus on fixing it. Um, my back feels fine, so I don't really have to worry about it, but I don't want it to spaz out again. Um, and so far, those are my only two injuries, but I just have to solve this problem of feeling tired all the time, even when I'm sleeping more. So um, yeah, it's my mini rant. I just wanna show you this raw footage though. Like I wanted to show you all what <laughs> a glute to hammies looks for me, but some things, things happen. And um, lately a lot of naggy, like pains have been, have been coming into my body and it's been really bothering me, but this is real life, this is what a lot of bodybuilders and just people who work out seriously have to go through. I mean, even if you don't work out seriously, you still know what um, an injury feels like. And if you don't get injured, then you're not working hard enough. It's hard to say, but yeah. Um, so yeah, this is my little rant, six minutes long. This is, <laughs> this is big. Um, but yeah, guys, so I'm gonna end the video here. Um, and uh, I truly love all the support that you guys have been bringing me um, on online, Instagram. If you haven't followed the gram, go ahead and follow it. Um, we've been growing tremendously. We're at 17K now. Um, goal for this year is 20K, but I, I believe we're gonna surpass that. 
um, and I'm looking for more engagement, guys. So if you see this video and you liked it, please like, share, comment, and let me know what you want to see here and more of me, um, even here or on Instagram, go on all my platforms and give me a follow and share it. Um, I really would appreciate that. It does help uh, the channel grow. It helps my account grow. It helps me grow. And um, I just want to reach as many people as I can to help them out. Um, so, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that it's not the best, but sometimes things happen and y'all gotta see that too y'all can't really see only the good things about um my everyday life so i'm trying to be as real and as uh, transparent as i can so um thank you guys again for all the love and support if you haven't yet hit the like and subscribe button and then turn on notifications i do drop one new video every week so uh yeah and like always guys dare to be different yeah.